Hi everyone, how are you doing? It's me, Joe, and welcome to Wolf Bandit, my second channel. Um, I thought I'd upload a little bit of a War Thunder video because I've been playing a hell of a lot of this game recently. I've put about 80 hours into it in the last two weeks. Um, I also wanted to just uh, say what this channel is meant to be. Um, I obviously have my main channel, the Jolly Game of Joe account, which I haven't uploaded in like a year, but I'm going to get back into it. By the time this video goes out, I might already have a video up. Who knows? But I'm going to try and start getting both channels going. Uh, this channel is just going to be random clips of bullshit. Whether it's going to be something random that happens in a video game which I record and upload. It could be a, a 5 second clip. Or more War Thunder videos like this. Because this, this match I had was pretty good. Um, I'm only tier 2 tanks at the minute on War Thunder. Because I've started again. I was with the American tanks. But now I'm back. Well, I'm not back. But I've started on the German tanks. I'm only on rank 2 at the minute. Um, this game is on realistic. So if you have played War Thunder, realistic means you don't have... Um, like that hit there was just pure luck, basically. You have to compensate for uh, missile drop or shell dropping. Um, you don't have the icon above the, the tank. You have to just be able to spot them. So you can see what I'm doing here is I'm aiming with the binoculars. And then I'm shooting once I've aimed with the binoculars. And it's actually really hard for them to see me. Um, yeah, I do get a couple of good snipe kills in this, which is why I'm uploading it. But, um, yeah, I, I, you can see C on the left. If you've played War Thunder before, if you haven't, this is probably going to sound all like, boring and pointless to you. But C, I never go to C on this map. I'm always usually going to the town. But I didn't select my spawn by accident. I accidentally spawned by C. So I thought I'd stay over here and uh, see what happens. Because, like I said, I've never been there before. So I don't know any tactics, any angles. Um, and yeah, so I checked out to see if it was clear to go, and from what I could see, it was. Um, I only had two other teammates going to see, so I thought I'd go and help them out, and I uh, go across this massive opening where I could be spotted by anyone. Uh, I've got my little eyes on the back of my tank. It's a bit different. I don't, I don't really see tank. I've, actually, I've never seen a tank with eyes on the back of the tank before. Usually, you have the eyes on. Um, the Russian tanks on the side. There's a certain Russian tank where all people always put eyes on it. And then I spotted this guy up there on that rock. Remember again, they don't have... When I actually played the game, this is the replay. So when I played the game, they didn't actually have the name tags above them. And I'm having to just guess the distance. And it was just short, that one. And But now, shooting, all I've done is allowed him to know where I am. And shooting while driving is always never going to be <laughs> never going to be a good thing. This isn't a live commentary, obviously, if you haven't been able to tell already. But I, I play War Thunder a lot in the evenings. I literally sit up all night playing War Thunder. It's my go-to game at the minute. Um, like I said, I've put like 80 hours into it in the last two weeks. I just really got into it. Guessing the distance and again there, we're well over his head, I think. Yeah, I kept missing. Now, I know you do have the range. I do have it... Uh, Set up to R, um, yeah, R on the keypad, on the keyboard, uh, to, to get you ranging. But I like to just guess, and it does work so most of the time. Like you'll see in a little while, the guess ranges are the best. I've just got so used to using this tank and the uh, the shell drop that guessing the range is pretty easy. Like this one here, bang. <laughs> just guess the range. So this angle here I thought was pretty good to defend B, even though they recaptured it. I could at least try and get some support and cover on. And I managed to hit that tank. I'm surprised I didn't kill him. Because I do have the explosive rounds when they go inside the tank, they just blow up. But he's he I took out his two gunners, so he's not able to actually shoot now that Churchill behind that building. But well, that there though, that's a kill. Easy kill. Blue, I killed the whole entire crew for one shot. Get sniped. See, so, yeah, binoculars are actually like the most precious things in War Thunder in my opinion. Because, well, when you're playing realistic at least, they just help you see so much easier. Like, although half of that map there on the right hand side wasn't, I can't actually see over the rock with the gun view. Hit that guy again. The Churchill's a pretty beast of a tank. Yeah, the, the binoculars let you see over things without actually having to peek, which is pretty good. So it's actually a very good uh, thing to have. 
I wanted to check to see if that tank was still there. I noticed that tank was still there after all that time, so I decided to have another pot shot. And completely missed again. So I hid again because I thought, well, now he just knows where I am, so I just hide again. And me killing those tanks and injuring the other ones allowed us to capture B again. I'm sure the other teammates helped, but I, uh, I like to think I did a lot more. So yeah, I'm actually, you hear that clicking noise? It's actually artillery. Um, I'm actually firing artillery constantly throughout this game. I tried to have another go at this guy. All I could see was his turret above that rock, and I managed to get him square in the face and destroyed him. <laughs> the whole time he was sitting up there, no one could get him. That shot there was just a pot shot. I saw a bit of movement between the trees, and I fired but missed. It is pretty much of a impossible shot. Yeah, I'll see if I can see anyone over to the left because we've managed out the two teammates managed to capture C. But I kind of got a bit exposed, so I ran back. I'll tell you what though, I'm realistic. I've only started playing realistic recently. I used to just play arcade mode because it seems more fun. But realistic now is just my go to thing. I love it. It's amazing. Um Yeah, you also you also get the planes in realistic mode. So you can become a plane. I do actually have a plane in my loadout. I have a, a German dive bomber, which is pretty cool. So when I get a few kills in a tank, if I die, I can then become a plane and bomb some tanks, which is always fun. But then I noticed my two teammates died. I didn't even see where they got shot from, how they died. And at this point, I was scared, because if you look at their map at the bottom right, you have the entire southern point of C. I was scared that someone flanked around, was behind one of these buildings here in front of me. So... I didn't quite know where to look and I was a bit paranoid because where the hell did these two teammates just get killed from? Now you can see through the trees there is a tank miles over there but obviously I, I can't see that so I don't know there's someone actually over there. Now I know if I start capturing B again as soon as I left which was annoying. But I was so paranoid that someone was in, this tree, in these trees and flanked around and killed my teammates. I decided to just put some artillery on B instead. So I decided to push over this hill because my teammates were like right in front of me when they died. But again, I was so paranoid with the left of me. So you can see what I'm doing here, I'm aiming with the binoculars and then you just fire. And I noticed I was a little bit short, so I aimed up a little bit more. And fire. Bang, dead. <laughs> nice little range snipe there. I did notice those two other tanks as well. You can see them there. I decided to go for the one furthest away first, because that one is just over the crest of the hill, so I can get him. So, with that shot, I took out his driver. And he's, he, he's basically, he can't move. I fired again, but somehow missed, even though I didn't really move it. And bang, dead. <laughs> Easy snipe. Um, just check in, see if there's no one else moving up. And then I notice that guy's still behind that hill. I can't get him from this angle. So I move up. And luckily he moves up too. Still hasn't noticed me shooting over him. And it's nice, easy one tap. Still checking my left because I'm scared I'm just going to get shot on the side at any minute. But that's their spawn just over there. Where that, where I killed that um, anti-air gun. That's basically their spawn. So <laughs> you can pretty much just spawn camp them from the actual uh, objective. I do have a teammate coming up behind me as well. But he is only a anti-air so he's not anything amazing. Um, I'm, I'm uploading this video for this snipe that comes up in a minute. You'll see, it's pretty amazing. I liked it anyway. Using up my artillery again. So I see a little tank here. Terrible shot, way too short. I don't know why, but for some reason I thought it was downhill so I didn't have to aim as high. But that's bullet logic, that's playing so many years of armour. 
this shot here. Look at that. Bang. Ammunition exploded, dead. Completely guessed the range while he's going from left to right, easy shot. Now these <clears throat> these little ones here, these little fast tanks, I think this might be a little tier one tank, I'm not sure. But they're actually quite deadly. Because they're really they're really fast. If they get around behind you, around the side, they're really easy to shoot for your armor. So I got a shot here, took out one of his gunners. I expected him to move, but he just kept driving towards me. And I just got an easy kill out of it. I don't know what he was doing on a suicide mission by the looks of it. But I think that was pretty much it. And then we won the mission. We won the objective. You see the top there, the the red just about to disappear. And then we win. Easy win. So yeah, that's a nice little War Thunder game. If you'd like more War Thunder, because I do play a lot of it, just let me know. If not, that's, that's fine, I guess. I'm not monetizing this channel, so these videos I'm uploading to the channel are just purely because I want to keep them. <laughs> like this recording here, I thought it was pretty cool, so I just decided to keep it. I do have a lot of better games. I'll get like 15 kills in some games. But uh, yeah, there I finished with 7 kills, 1 assist. No deaths. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.